Good morning, everybody. Uh, I think we'll uh, get started here. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. My name is Hugh Peterson. I'm actually the, um, the new uh, product manager for uh, DOSU 3D uh, here at Standard Imaging. I took over that position after um, about 12 years as the uh, international account manager. I see some familiar names on the list, so uh, I know some of you, uh, but uh, this is an introduction to a lot of you. Uh, today, I want to go through the DoseView 3D Water Phantom, uh, just a, an overview. I hope to, it should only take maybe 20, 25 minutes uh, at the most so I can get you back uh, uh, to your daily routine or your afternoons or your evenings, as the case may be, depending on uh, where, you're, uh, where you're located. Um, and uh wanted to introduce you, like I said, to the uh, to Dosi 3D, uh, the new Generation 2 hardware that uh, we're um, releasing uh, has some new advantages, some new functionalities that, uh, that I'll go through. So just wanted to kind of introduce uh, us a little bit, you know, reasons why we come to work each day um you know some of our employees here at uh, standard imaging you know we we realize that cancer affects uh pretty much everybody in in a number of different ways either directly or indirectly and you know we're we're very proud to be a leading manufacturer of uh of qa equipment for um for cancer uh, uh radiation therapy and uh treatments and uh we want to be your partner in pre precision uh for uh for QA. Uh, so today's webinar will be recorded. And, um, you know, you can always uh, revisit it uh, on our website. Um, uh, I've got you all muted just because I want to keep it flowing. Uh, if you have any questions, there's a dialog box that you can um, you can type in your questions and we can uh, we can go over those at the end. Uh, a little bit of history, uh, standard imaging was is based in Middleton, Wisconsin, and uh, we were founded in 1989. You may be familiar with some of our earlier products. Uh, our well chamber is uh, very well known around the world. Our electrometers, our ion chambers, etc. We offer a, a full uh, full suite of QA products for radiation therapy, um, from our daily, our monthly, our annual QA devices, some patient QA uh, uh, software as well and a number of different things uh, for, um, for quality assurance. So uh, just kind of getting into it, our DoseView 3D software, or I'm sorry, our Phantom, I'll get into the software in a little bit. Uh, we just released the, uh, the new generation two software uh, and hardware that, um, that really kind of uh, improves the functionality, gives it kind of broadens the scope of the, uh, the use of the system. And I'm gonna go over that today. Um, basically, kind of obviously, some of the uh, some of the objectives that you want out of your uh, out of your water phantom, your acceptance testing for checking your system, uh, you know, versus the manufacturer's stated specs, commissioning, checking all your energies, your field sizes, your wedges, etc. Um, you're doing your annual QA require uh, recommended tests uh, such as the TG142 test from AAPM, and of course, uh, should something go seem off on your uh, your linear accelerator, doing those periodic checks as needed. Um, you know, as far as we're concerned, what makes a good water phantom? You're going to want something that's highly accurate and have uh, repeatable positions and repeatability for, uh, for future scans to be able to compare back to, uh, to previous scans. Um, you want really good high quality measurements uh, when you're doing the raw measurements. Um, that kind of avoids the need to do any post-scan uh, post processing. And with our with our system, we kind of uh, you know highlight that that we always have very good raw measurements, and uh, it reduces the post scan processing to a minimum, and saves time for uh, for you guys to, to kind of move into other other uh, duties that uh, that are necessary. Uh, you want a reliable hardware. You know we realize that the hardware is not used very often; it may be only used on an annual basis. Um, so we want it, you need it to be there and, and operational when you when you pull it out of the closet or roll it into uh, into operation on a uh, on a periodic basis. And you also want good flexibility, uh, the ability to use different types of detectors, use uh, an import and export uh, 
um, for different protocols and different uh, treatment planning systems, things like that. So we kind of cover all those with our with our DoseView uh, 3D system. So uh, some of our points of uh, giving you that accurate and consistent positioning, the new, uh, the new generation two has a heavy gauge extruded aluminum frame, which, which maximizes the rigidity and the, uh, the, gives you a solid foundation on what to, uh, on, on which to uh, scan with and get those, get those good raw results. Uh, it also helps simplify setup and, and remain, uh, you know, maintains that reproducibility. Your positional accuracy within the system is 0.1 millimeter per axis, so the XYZ axis and all the motion uh, um, movement uh, in the system is within 0.1 millimeter. Um, we allow, uh, has a uh, precise three-point uh, leveling, which uh, helps to do a quick quick setup, quick uh, um, get you from basically setting up to scanning in about five or 10 minutes. Uh, it's very uh, robust and, um, and allows for, uh, for quick setup. And uh, before even the system goes out of the out of the factory, each individual system is tested on a an industrial coordinate system uh, to verify not only the accuracy but also the performance and the scanning uh, arm uh, movements for the uh, for the system. Uh, some of the other features uh, for the hardware: um, the water tank and the frame are, are mechanically secured together for giving you that long-term integrity and uh, and reproducibility and rigidity. Um, we have an advanced uh, suction drain, which actually helps pull the water out of the uh, out of the phantom when you drain it. So you're not left with uh, with water you need to clean out, or the the um, the scanning mechanism is not sitting in a pool of water. Uh, so that helps uh, quite a bit as well. And then we have a fully integrated uh, lift cart and uh, reservoir um, built in that uh, gives you the ability to easily fill and drain the tank uh, without having to use an external water source. Um, but there is an optional lift card as well that is just, just lift only, no reservoir. So we have that available also. Um, the, there's versatile uh, positioning platform that uh, gives you not only a course rotational adjustments if you want to do your diagonal scan so you can rotate and lock in at 45 um, degrees or the 90 degrees positions, uh, you can do that very easily. There's a fine adjustment levers uh, you can see. Um, here on the uh, on the outside of the edge of the uh, platform, one uh, for the X direction, one for the Y direction for fine tuning, and then one uh, in the corner for rotational. So it gives you the ability to really fine tune and easily, um, precisely move that uh, that phantom into place. Um, the, like I said, the new Gen 2 hardware, we've got a lower profile, it's a more compact design, improved rigidity, and now uh, it is Halcyon compatible. I know that was somewhat of a challenge with some of the other systems on the market um, getting in into the uh, the Halcyon bore, but our new uh, our new system does uh, does fit and and works very well with the uh, with the Halcyon. Uh, we have wireless connectivity, uh, not only our pendant itself, and you can see uh, here we've got a lot of different uh, functionalities built on. It's a very smart uh, smart pendant. Um, gives you a simple setup and uh, system configuration uh, for for getting uh, up and ready to uh, to scan. Uh, there's an onboard display that always will show your uh, your X Y Z positions of the probe. Uh, there's a three uh, three speed uh, touch um, touch button here showing you either fast or slow or even the 0.1 millimeter step uh, um, progression of the uh, of the scanning system and again the X Y and Z. Uh, position. And a nice thing too, uh, one thing I've always uh, heard, we have a, have a physicist um, here at, uh, at Standard Imaging that had done a lot of clinical work and one of the things he always said was he wishes they had the, uh, the, the disable bias button on the pendant because you know you, you're down, you're out at the console, turn on the bias, you move into the, into the vault, running into uh, the situation where you forget something, you need to turn the bias off, you run back out, Turn it off. You can do that right from the pendant now, so it saves saves time, makes things a little easier for you. And uh, the nice thing too, the actual system itself can be run in either a wired uh, uh, configuration with, the, with a, a simple uh, uh, standard um, serial cable from the uh, from the scanning system to the PC, or we also include a uh, a wireless uh, Zigbee radio um, 
functionality, which allows you to do a wireless connectivity to the um, to the computer for getting your scan data. Uh, nice thing about that is you know you're not tripping over cables if you're walking around the, the system. The setup uh, speeds up a little bit too because you don't have to connect any uh, um, additional cables. And as I mentioned, um, if you do want to use it in a wired configuration, it's a standard serial cable that you can just find on uh, the shelf of any uh, any shop or mail order, or whatever. It's not a proprietary expensive cable. It's just a standard uh, standard serial cable. And gives you that versatility and convenience. Um, one thing that we've always prided ourselves on, and you're maybe uh, very familiar with our with our electrometers, uh, we've we've got a very good uh, line of electrometers, and we've taken that um, that precision and uh, longevity into uh, into the build of the uh, the Dose View 3D electrometer. It's a charge digitizing electrometer, so it gives you very high speed acquisition. It's got a 10 femtocoulomb uh, resolution. You have dual bi uh, polarity bias, so you have a whole host of different uh, bias settings. A nice thing too is it's got an independent bias voltage. So if uh, you want to use a um, a diode for your scanning and nine chamber for your uh, for your reference, you can turn those on and off individually. So that's a nice uh, nice feature as well. Um, we have time saving uh, features that uh, really get you scanning in in less time. You know, one one thing. Uh, I know it's a it's kind of a drain on your time when you have to do your annuals or you're doing your commissioning. There's a lot of scans involved, so we want to make it as easy as possible to be able to uh, to get you uh, scanning quickly. And with our um, detector alignment system, we that's uh, just one more system that helps uh, to do that that uh, quick uh, quick setup. The, uh, the detector alignment jig, which you can see in the upper right corner, that helps you uh, basically align your uh, ion chamber. You put the Put the billup cap and you align that line on the billup cap to the line on the jig and that puts the uh the chamber into uh the actual position uh exact position for scanning very quickly and then we also include multiple detector holders here's a sample here of a number we have um for our 0 0.125 uh 828 scanning chambers or our farmer chambers there's a number of different um different parallel plate chamber holders for not only our parallel plates, but also other manufacturers. So that's a nice thing too, is we, we, we try to be vendor neutral with pretty much anything we do and, and offer uh, supplies if you don't have necessarily our chambers or you wanna use somebody else's chambers, you have that availability as well. We also have a, um, an intuitive water level alignment jig, and that's this one uh, right here showing with the um, the crosshairs for, for quick alignment and then the um, the X on the front end, you can see here it shows um, proper alignments, uh, just being able to show you uh, um, the alignment with the water level in the, um, in the side view and the front view. And then also with this X, it gives you kind of a, um, if you're seeing a distorted view of the, uh, of the position, you can tell you you're out of alignment if you have a perfect X uh, reflecting uh, from the water level. You're in you're in a quick spot, so it gives you a nice uh, nice ability to um, to set that up quickly. And then the nice thing too is you take this off of the um, the the uh, chamber carriage, place this on there, and your chamber is already um, set to that specific point with that matches up with the. Uh, with the um, water level alignment jig that you just set up. So it's a very quick swap out. The chambers can be set in the uh, in the Phantom, either vertical or horizontal uh, configuration. So if you're using stereotactic diodes, um, like our uh, D1V, you can place that in a vertical uh, uh, mount as well. And then another nice feature is um, to speed things up is we have automatic uh, fine beam center. It's a, it's a function in the software that basically runs the um, the 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 detector to the edge of the field in both the uh, cross plane and in plane locates the um the 50 percent uh um point of the uh, of the beam uh, energy and then uh aligns it uh, accordingly and gives you those uh, correct shifts to make sure that you're uh, you're finding the beam center and uh we also include our uh our x-ray and a28 scanning chambers they're our standard uh you know 0.125 uh, cc volume uh, scanning chambers. Um, the nice thing about the uh, A28s is that they have a um, 
that they have a uh, spherical collecting volume. So if you're doing cross plane or in plane, you don't have any effect on the beam shape. It'll hold that uh, accordingly. Um, the, uh, the the chambers are all made with a homogeneous uh, shank of plastic, a, cl a conductive plastic for the collector guard and shell. So there's no uh, perturbation of the beam. Um, we have a five-year warranty on our chambers, which is unheard of in the industry. And um, we also offer a full line of other ch detectors to farmer chambers, diodes. Uh, we have our W1 and W2 scintillators, which are water equivalent for small fields. Those are uh, go down to a, a one by one millimeter uh, scanning uh, size. So we have those available as well that can be uh, utilized with the, uh, the water phantom. And um, you know, our software, kind of jumping into that now, um, it gives you, uh, we had a complete rewrite from the ground up for our version 2.0. Uh, we're on version 2.1 right now, um, but there's an easy left to right, uh, top to bottom navigation like uh, you're typically used to. Uh, we've got no hidden features. Everything is available to you at your fingertips um, on screen. And there's an intuitive menu for scan queue setup and measurement, uh, uh, as well as as well as uh, beam analysis. So I'm going to jump into uh, the software right now, and kind of run through that. So this is our basically our starting screen. You can see up here. You can always get back to your start screen by just clicking on the dose view uh, 3D right here. But I can jump into the setup, and this is kind of where you set up your machines, uh, your clinics. You can you can. Um, set up your clinic, set up your specific machines. For example, I'll click on this demo clinic here. I've got a true beam set up on that. Um, and uh, those will um, be storehoused in the, uh, the database on the system. Uh, we also have a detector set up here where you can choose your, uh, you can add detectors, uh, choose detectors specifically. Uh, nice thing about this is if you look as I choose to add one, I can enter in the, the, the chamber name, the, the manufacturer. So if it's a uh, if it's one of our A28s, um, put in the X-rate in, uh, uh, they enter the model, um, maybe you know, A28, number two. And the nice thing too, is you can see if I click on uh, that it's a cylindrical, it'll ask me for the inner diameter. So later on when you're doing your scans, if you wanna do a dose conversion, it'll automatically be able to do that because it knows the inner diameter of the chamber already. And you can set your serial number and put a comment in as well. So uh, that's just the, uh, the detector uh, setup. I'm gonna jump over to preferences and we'll go back to scan cues. But preferences here uh, for uh, some of our international um, customers gives you the ability to use uh, um, different delimiters for your CSV outputs, uh, your decimal separators, either commas or periods your different time formats and your different uh, date formats as well um, can all be chosen uh, accordingly. Uh, jumping into our scan queues, we've got definitely without a question, uh, probably one of the easiest uh, scan queue um, um, setup systems on the market. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, basically, you just uh, click an add and you'll see here, I've got four, four little uh, um, menus here. All marked is not set. If I just easily go in and say I want to do 6MV, oops, sorry, try that again, 6MV annual, I'll call it maybe. Um, and then you choose your, your medium, your modality, whether it's uh, uh, photons, electrons, or triple F, uh, your field def definition, uh, whether it's JAWS or MLC, et cetera. But you'll see that change to complete now. Um, then I go choose my energies. My energies are uh, very easy to pick. Um, they're already set up here for 6, 10, and 18. If I want to add, add a new one, just do it right here. But I want to do 6 MV for this specific uh, set. Choose my field sizes next. Uh, I want to do maybe a 10 by 10 and a 20 by 20. And you can put in custom uh, rectangular ones or circular uh, ones if you're doing cones as well, very easily. But you'll see that field size now can set. And, um, now I can go into my scan types and scan types, you can choose your in plane, your cross plane, your depth. And you'll see here, I've, as I've done those, I've added uh, total scans um, to, my, to my list. If I choose my different depths, I wanna do maybe one at uh, D max, I wanna do uh, scans at 10, I wanna do scans at uh, 30. So now I've got, um, those that I choose my, my CACs offsets, um, want to just do, uh, do it down the center line. 
but now you can see I have my total scans now jumped to 14. So it, it automatically set up those 14 scans that you want to do. Um, another nice feature is our scan mode. We have the ability to do either step scans or continuous. So continuous movement or step uh, step checks for the uh, for the profiles and the depths. Uh, we have the ability to do either either single uh, single zones or we can also do multiple zones. So if you have a high gradient um, low dose region, you want to kind of do a little higher resolution. You can do that. Um, here you can see that the, in the step mode, we're doing two millimeter steps in the uh, in the tails and the flat area, and in the uh, the high gradient area, we're going to do one millimeter um, higher resolution steps. You can also do that, uh, like I said, in continuous, and that gives you uh, the millimeters per second settings of 15 in the tails and five um, five millimeters per second in the uh, the the high uh, the higher gradient areas. And you can adjust those accordingly. And then we also have the overscan in distance and the uh, or percentage of the full width half max. So you can you can choose those accordingly as well. But now you can see that all my scans are complete here. All my setup is complete. So I'm not going to save this one because I've got some that I want to show. But um, uh, that will be saved here. Go into the the measurement tab, and you'll see um, we first start with uh, setting up the hardware, kind of the same thing. Um, where we have the, the grayed out uh, need to be uh, um, set before we can do some scanning. And we also offer a demo mode, uh, which is nice because, like I said, you don't use it uh, all the time. Um, you want to be able to kind of get back into the software, maybe spend a little time with it, kind of re-familiarizing yourself with it, but it's usually pretty quick to do that. And I can initialize the, uh, the Water Phantom, choose my detectors. Nice thing too is um, with the detectors, if you're choosing a diode or a um, a uh, scintillator, it will not allow you to turn the bias on, so you won't you won't uh, be able to damage your electrometer um, by putting a, putting a uh, bias on a uh, on a diode or a uh, um, scintillator that does not require a bias supply. So, but I can turn on my bias here. Um, maybe 300, put it on the field, and I'll put it on my reference. You can zero my electrometer from here as well. Uh, choose my position, and this is kind of where you set up your um, your starting, your origin. You can move the uh, the chamber to the um, correct position accordingly. Set your origin. This is where you do lo your locate beam center as well. Uh, I can do both in plane and cross plane, uh, cross plane, or just the in plane. Um, at a specific depth too. So if you want to do at different depths to make sure that your uh, uh, runouts to the to the bottom of the phantom are are level, you can do that as well. But I just click on uh, locate beam center, it runs my locate beam center, then it will give me the results here. If there is a shift that's necessary to uh, to get my um, my uh, chamber back to uh, the correct origin, so I can just click the shift origin button there. So, but now I'm ready to do actually uh, do my scans, and then I can go choose my queue. I'll uh, I'll just load a queue, a simple queue here, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. This is a uh, queue of just four scans. Um, gives me an info uh, dialog box here, making sure that my dose rate settings are correct, which they are. Um, have the ability to zero the electrometer here. I can normalize. I can uh, start the scans. If for some reason there's an error and I wanted to reload a scan, you can or reload a queue, you can do that. And then you can also look here to see those uh, those scan details again. But I'm going to start the scan here, and you'll see here you got a green uh, um, progress uh, that the scan is an act is active, and the and then the progress percentage as you're doing in this case my my depth measurement, and then it'll move on to do the uh, the uh, profiles as well. And while it's doing that, I'm going to jump into analyze. And I'm going to load a set of scans just so you can kind of see what we've got. Um, I'm going to pick uh, some scans from the 5th of February because I know those are uh, some ones that I'm doing. Those are the same scans that I'm doing now. I pick those scans. I click on OK. It'll bring up those uh, those profiles here. Show the depth as well. And uh, I can show all the uh, all the scans at once. So basically, if I do my depth and I want to uh, convert it to dose, I have that ability here. There's a few filters here. You can do um, some Gaussian or some boxcar smoothing. Uh, you have the ability to do some point editing, uh, shifting, et cetera. You can normalize 
Uh, so you have all that functionality as well. The nice thing too, I'm gonna go over to the profiles, just kind of show you here, is we can always show the raw data. It always saves the raw data. Um, so if you wanna do something, say, that maybe it wouldn't be quite, quite uh, um, pertinent to your scans, but if I wanna shift them three centimeters, uh, I'll shift it three centimeters and you'll see that now they shifted three centimeters, but you still show the raw. You can you can toggle that on and off. You can you can highlight into uh, um, some areas of the scan, things like that. Um, but you can check your uh, check what filters are applied. And here you can see I'm normalized to the PDDs right now, but I'm also showing that shift. I can remove that last filter, bring the scans back to uh, back to center, and it shows you uh, that 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 filter's been removed. Easy metrics here showing you your um, your central axis, your penumbra width, your flatness, symmetry, et cetera. So those are all um, all easily viewable. You can do that to different uh, different protocols or APM or Electa IEC or Electa USA, the Varian, uh, the Triple F, the AERB. Um, we're adding more of those along the way as well, uh, such as like the DIN uh, protocol from Germany, things like that will be added in uh, future releases. Um, we've got full uh, capability for export uh, of our scan sets to any number of uh, treatment planning systems. As you can see here, we can uh, go uh, export to Eclipse, to Monaco, the uh, Electa Aqua QA um, um, system, Philips Pinnacle, Raysearch Rayplan. Uh, we're looking to add CyberKnife in the near future. We also have the ability to um, export it in our DoseView format. Um, standard uh, uh, CSV, uh, you can export your PDDs and then you can also uh, export your PDDs and calculate your TPRs uh, as well. Um, one thing I did not mention, uh, you can also import legacy scan data. Say you have an older uh, PDW or IBA scanner, you can import that data and, uh, and do comparisons for that as well. One thing we're also adding to the next version of the software um, would be uh, um, some improved scan comparisons with uh, with Gamma. So you'll be able to uh, check uh, check your um, recent scans with some reference or legacy scans as well. So you have that functionality also. And um, like I said, I think that's, uh, you can also do half scans. You can do diagonals, so you can do merge those half scans. Some of the uh, some of the filters here um, for the uh, profiles. You've got the you know the average symmetric uh, measurements. You've got the ability to do mirroring if you're doing uh, those half scans and you just want to mirror to the uh, to the positive or mirror to the negative. You can do that. Um, you have the ability to flip your scans. And uh, again, like I showed you before, you can shift. So. Um, that's kind of uh, that's that's a quick run through of uh, of the software, um, and uh, basically, um, just like I said, I want to do a quick overview uh, um, today to give you if you have any um, any deeper in, uh, in depth questions or want to get a little more information, uh, uh, we're happy to help you out. But just in summary, um, talking about the hardware. We've got the uh, you know the new the new Gen 2 design um, Halcyon compatible. It's a much more structurally rigid design for good accuracy and repeatability. Those 0.1 millimeter accuracies for uh, for each axis. Um, we do a lot of different things for quick system setup to get you from from setup to scanning very quickly. We've got the uh, the wired or the wireless functionality for for setup ease and and time saving. Uh, the dual electronic, uh, dual uh, channel electrometer with the independent biases with fast acquisition, so it helps you uh, um, get those uh, scans quickly. And um, we've got that intuitive and versatile detector alignment system that's that's included with the system as well. And uh, on the software side, uh, again, it's easy left to right, top to bottom navigation. Uh, we've got the quick queue setup. Uh, um, there's easy copy and editing functions within that as well, which I didn't necessarily touch on, but you can copy um, your uh, your setup cues and just change uh, change energies on on a batch type uh, situation. So you can go from six to ten with the same same scans without having to individually choose and set up those scans again. No hidden features, uh, the ability to do this the step or continuous scanning with the multiple zone resolutions. 
Um, all the uh, all the export um, that I showed you, uh, um, Pinnacle, Research, Eclipse, etc., are all included with the system. They're not additional purchases, so you have you have availability to all those. So if you have multiple uh, um, brands of Linux across your uh, across your clinic, you don't need to uh, to purchase additional treatment planning export uh, uh, formats. Those are all included. Um, the import functionality for the legacy scan data from other uh, other systems. And like I said, it's a very straightforward post-scan processing and metrics with the system. So I'd like to thank you for your time. Um, like I had mentioned, uh, for more information, feel free to visit our website. Uh, or if you wanted to take a deeper dive into the uh, into the system, uh, you can contact your sales rep uh, um, at sales at standardimaging.com or feel free to uh, to contact me uh, directly as a as the product manager, and I can uh, assist you as well. Um, but other than that, I'd just like to thank you for your time. I'll take a look now to see if we've got any questions. Um, nope, doesn't look like we do. So um, feel free, like I said, to uh, to contact me and uh, and our sales group for for more information. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys all have a, a good day or good afternoon, depending on uh, on where you're at. Thanks very much.